Hello, Timberwolves. Mr. Peters here to welcome you to your registration advisory presentation. Over the course of the next few minutes, you will be guided through the process for requesting classes for next school year. Let's go, Wolfpack. Hi, Jackson. This is Mr. Garrick. As a counseling team, we are here to help you as you register for your classes. Take a look at this slide to familiarize yourself with the counseling team, divided by alphabet, and support staff at Jackson. Our emails are included so you can contact us with any questions you might have. Feel free to pause the presentation at any time if you need to write information down or reference something in the future. The Jackson Counseling webpage also has lots of useful information regarding registering for courses, so give it a look. As we walk you through course registration, you will need the following items. Your course catalog, a copy of which can be found on the Jackson Counseling webpage under graduation requirements. You will also need a copy of your transcript, which you can find online. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do this soon. In this presentation, we are going to cover all that we typically do during your fifth period advisory session. This includes reviewing graduation requirements, reviewing your transcript, highlighting new class offerings, answering frequently asked questions, and providing guidance as you request courses for next year. As a reminder, course requests are due online by the following date. Let's begin the registration process. The graduation requirements can be found on the following pages in your course catalog. Here is an overview of each graduation requirement. Let's clear up some common areas of confusion. What are electives? Electives are anything you do beyond the minimum. This means your fourth year of math or science, a fourth PE class, a third CTE course, a third year of world language will all count as electives and help you meet this requirement. What about world language? If you're planning on going directly to a four-year college after high school, you need a minimum of two years of the same language. World language exam is also offered in the fall and the spring in which you can earn up to four years or four credits of a world language based on a language you already know. See the Jackson webpage for more information. PPR. What is it anyway? It stands for Personal Pathway Requirement. However, there's no class titled PPR, no class that gives PPR credit. PPR is just a way of encouraging students to pursue at least a few classes that help them explore pathways to potential careers. Let's review where you are in your high school career. To do so, you will need a copy of your transcript. It should look like this. You can also access a version of your transcript online. Let me show you how. Start by going to the District or Jackson webpage. Select Grades and More. Next to Gradebook, select Home Access Center or Hack for short. You will be taken to a page that looks like this. Log in with your student ID number and district password. From this point, you will be on the main page. Select Grades and then the tab Transcript. Your transcript is an official record of your high school accomplishments so far. It is organized by semester and includes grades for each class, with your semester GPA and cumulative GPA listed after your classes. Jackson offers many ways to prepare you for the challenge of education beyond high school. Familiarize yourself with these options by looking at the following pages in your course book. As a reminder, AP courses are year-long and often include a summer assignment. Once you're in an AP class, you will not be moved out, so choose wisely. Jackson will also be offering a number of new courses next year. Find them in your course book for a more detailed description. Are you planning to enroll in Running Start, Snow Isle, NJROTC, or take an online class? Please still register for a full 12 classes at Jackson. Once you are accepted and complete the necessary paperwork, you will connect with your school counselor to finalize your classes and periods. For more information about Running Start, please see the Jackson webpage and view the Running Start informational video. Did you take a high school class in middle school? 
you can move this course to your high school transcript by completing paperwork with your parents or guardian's signature. This is generally something you will want to wait till your senior year to do, as your credits and grades are both transferred and can affect your high school GPA. Contact your school counselor in order to receive the necessary paperwork. You can find information on waiving up to one credit of PE on the Jackson website. As a reminder, waiving credit does not earn credit, and you must complete the paperwork before your sport activity season begins. Contact Mr. Hutt if you have any questions. On the following pages in your course catalog, you will find your grade level registration form. Course suggestions are also listed for each grade level. Use this to plan out your courses for the next year before entering them online. You can also find an index of courses and the credits they offer at the end of your course book. The following slides are typical schedules for each grade level, excluding the ninth grade. You now have everything you need to request your classes for next year. Congrats, T-Wolf! The Jackson Counseling webpage and your course catalog have directions on how to enter your requests in the Home Access Center. To request courses, go to the District or Jackson website and select Grades and More in the top right corner, then select the link to Hack. Enter your student ID and your district password to log in. Look familiar? This is the same way you reviewed your transcript online. Now select Schedule and then the Request tab and you're ready to go. One final reminder, please select a full six courses for each semester and list as many alternatives as you are comfortable with. Most students will not receive all the courses that they request, so having a backup plan is important. Remember, more alternatives means less crying later. Let's review all the information you learned today in order to request your classes for next year. That's it! Remember to watch the pre-registration video, check your course catalog, and visit the Jackson Counseling webpage if you need any help. As always, Jackson Counselors are here for you too. Please email us at any time with questions you have. Go Timberwolves!